Hi everyone. In this section, we'll learn about sub procedures and functions. So, as we have started writing programs or code in VB Editor, so whatever we write or to perform an action or to do some calculation is known as an instruction. A set of instructions can be written in a sub procedure or a function procedure. So, a sub procedure is a set of instructions but with a condition that it do not result return any output. But functions on the other hand, these are again set of instructions which may perform some action, which may do some calculations, but these return a value. So the only difference between procedure and function procedure is functions return a value, sub procedures do not. And since functions return a value, these can be used in cell formula as well. So I will explain each and everything. If you see here on the left side, this is the syntax for defining or uh, creating a sub procedure. So you just need to use a keyword sub sub with the, the name of sub procedure and two round brackets. And it ends with end sub. And inside that you need to write your instructions. Same with the function, you need to use the keyword function, then the name of function, then round brackets and in these round brackets there may be some arguments and if there are no arguments you can keep it blank. So we will be talking about arguments later in this section um, uh, but you can see here again it ends with end function and inside that we write our instructions and since function return a value so it is important to return a value like this if you see here in the red I have written fun1 which is the name of the function is equal to some value which you want to return. So we will see here, we will go to VB editor, we will first of all create a sub procedure. So to create a sub procedure, I will write sub, I will name it as test and once I hit enter, it automatically writes end sub. That means anything I want to perform here in the sub procedure can be written here in the form of instructions. So we have seen earlier, let's say I want to display a message box, so I can simply put message box hello Kamal this is one instruction I may write multiple instructions like I want to put something in cell uh, let's say 10 comma 20 dot value is equal to hello so this is another instruction now if we talk about functions we create functions like function name of function and then it ends with end function. Now we see that let's say uh, because function returns some output so it should have some input. Now either user would be providing that input or the function itself would be picking the values from some source maybe from uh, input box and ask user to enter some values or maybe it may be reading some values from the cells or maybe something else. So let's say we ask user to enter values so for that we need to provide arguments in these brackets so for example if i create a function for sum of two numbers and i name the function as sum of two so i need two integers as input so i need two integers so let's say first integer is a and i need declaration here so i specifically mention that a is integer comma b is integer right so user would be providing me two integer values and what i will be doing i'll be doing c is equal to a plus b where c is nothing but c is also a private integer then c as integer right so once we add we need to return this value so to return we'll use a function name sum of 2 is equal to c now since we have created this function we can use this function in any of the cells for example if i write here is equal to sum of 2 this is of this function is available here also right so it is visible and then I can use it like sum of 10 and 20, it returns me 30. But I cannot use the sub procedure which I have created as 
as I use the function right now another usage let's say I create a sub procedure because sub procedure is set of instructions so I create a sub procedure I can call this sub procedure one which I have created test through another sub procedure and I can call a function through a sub procedure also so sum of two can be called directly through a function uh, through a sub procedure instruction as well but since a function returns a value and a sub procedure does not therefore calling a sub procedure is not returning any error but calling a function without saving its value is giving me an error here so what I do here or I can use the keyword call also right so here I'm calling a sub procedure and I'm calling a function but for function we need two inputs first of all let's say one and two are the input and since it is returning something I need to save that value somewhere let's say C is the value so that's how this error is gone and I can further see this value message box let's say C now you will see when I run it it performs test it goes to test it executes whatever was there in the test this was the first instruction then it performs second instruction it ends here it goes to the next statement it says c is equal to sum of two and then one and two are the values so it calls the function internally takes the value one and two as input one and two both are integers it declares c as integer and then c is equal to one plus two makes c three and then sum of two which is the name of function it returns the value which was there in c so c the value goes here in the variable c in this variable and that's how when I do a message box it prints 3 as output so now if we quickly revise the syntax of sub procedure is sub name of sub procedure in package and then set of instructions and then end sub procedure and same for function function name of function in brackets you need to specify the arguments if there are any and if there are not you can keep it blank and then set of instructions and in the later uh, in the last uh, before writing end function uh, you need to return the value using name of function is equal to that value so sub procedure set of instructions do not return a value function set of instruction return a value and can be used in cell formula that's all thank you